Thank you for keeping it here. The time is 6.25, and there's always plenty to do in the borderland, and especially this spooky weekend. I know, and you know who's here to give us all the information? I can, I can predict yeah. it. Yeah, huh? Kimber McCartan Foster with Destination El Paso will break it all down for us. Good morning, Kimber. Good morning and happy Thursday. This Halloween weekend is perfect for all you ghouls and boys that love to be scared. The Sun City has several different haunted houses to check out, complete with creepy dolls, killer clowns, and lots and lots of zombies. There's the Terror Trail and Zombie Paintball Adventure in Canutillo, Forbidden Acres on Tobacco Road in Far East El Paso, KLAQ's Haunted Forest at Ricky's Paintball, Massacre on Marshall Road on Fort Bliss, and the El Paso County Sheriff's Office Paranoia Asylum. The popular 80s horror comedy film, Ghostbusters, will be shown this Friday night at the Rush Fair Shopping Center in Northeast El Paso. This free, family-friendly event runs from 5.30 to 10 p.m., and there will be a costume contest, safe trick-or-treating, and food for purchase from some of El Paso's best gourmet food trucks. On Saturday, you can participate in the 30th annual KLAQ Halloween Parade, starting at 3.30 p.m. at Album Park. Registration is free and starts at 10 a.m. Uh, the day of, but you can also register online. Cash prizes will be awarded for best costume, decorated car, float, and there's even a costume contest for your pets. The Doubletree Hotel concludes its Movies on the Terrace series this Saturday night with a screening of the cult classic Beetlejuice. This event, which is also free and open to the public, starts at dusk. In November, don't forget to buy your tickets for the Broadway sensation, The Book of Mormon. The nine-time Tony Award winner from the creators of South Park takes over the Plaza Theater from November 10th through 15th, and I guarantee you won't want to miss out on this great opportunity to see it. Head over to ElPasoLive.com for more information and to purchase tickets. And while you're online, check out the El Paso Master Calendar on visitelpaso.com for more events. I'm Kimber McCarden Foster with Destination El Paso, wishing you a safe and spooky Halloween weekend. All right, Kimber, right back at you. Well, we are very excited for Halloween weekend because there'll be plenty to do, but I think you and I are going to skip on those um, haunted houses and yeah. that, that, that stuff. The, I heard that a lot the of them are and the very scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, but the good thing is, like, the sheriff's office, they have theirs this year, and if you bring canned food, they're doing a the food drive, so some good causes there, but yeah. maybe I'll just go and donate. And then leave and not go inside. It's like, no, it's okay. I'll pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what caught my eye was the Ghostbusters one. They yeah, had food right? trucks outside, they said, and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, costume contests. So. Right. It'd be a lot mm. of fun. Yeah. yeah. So something for everyone out there, Absolutely. that's for sure. Yeah. All right. The time now.